Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please remember to take what resonates in and don't manifest the rest. We got a slow start this morning. Still getting used to different climates. So, we're... Uh, Starting out with the Three of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Four of Swords. So, Three of Swords, Four of Swords, Ten of Wands tells me that it's possible, not completely out of the question, that somebody just lost somebody. And my condolences. Or this could be the loss of a job. And someone has a lot of responsibility to take care of. I definitely feel like uh, somebody's in a lot of pain right now. Yeah, the challenge is the Ten of Wands. For the King of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. So this is somebody that has to do something on their own now. And I am seeing it as having to handle a lot of responsibility by themselves. Possibly you, Scorpio, King of Cups. Either that or it's a breakup. Big cards. That wants to come out. The Empress in the most recent past. So, Mother, the Moon, and the Nine of Pentacles. I'm feeling like somebody is so lost right now because they have to do things on their own. Now, this could be the passing of a loved one. It doesn't have to be uh, what am I getting here? I'm getting a loss. A loss of something that was unforeseen. Something that was hidden. Maybe somebody was hiding pain that they were going through. The Nine of Pentacles keeps coming out. No matter what, whoever you are Scorpio I feel like you are going to be good on your own there's going to be a message about a car a vehicle in the immediate future so we have Libra we had Pisces now we have Cancer See what else? Ah. So this was a big surprise. There's the tower. Scorpio energy. This was a surprise. This was unexpected. An unexpected turn of events. But it's very burdensome. Painful and burdensome. Outside influence. <laughs> the hanged man. So 
so judgment and the six of wands somebody's waiting judgment and I'm seeing this now I I don't mean to be weird because I usually don't see things like this but I'm seeing this like in the ethereal world more so than on the earth plane here that whatever took place here this tower someone is waiting judgment in the ethers they're waiting for a win perhaps you have a a passed over loved one that's that's trying to help you Pisces energy again Eight of Pentacles work Page of Cups and the Fool waiting on a brand new beginning for work so if it's not what I was talking about it's it may be that a job and ended and you still have a lot of responsibilities so maybe this is a new job coming in I see it as a positive thing I don't see it as a negative yeah so somebody's passing something on to you here Scorpio the chariot again could be a cancer and there is the Emperor with the Four of Swords. As I said before, my condolences if you have just lost someone. But I do feel like they are watching over you and they're trying to give you something or gift you something. A brand new beginning. Something you're not seeing. But your strength is getting you through it. Your strength is getting you through some kind of grief. Emperor energy. Aries energy. So like I said. Someone may be passing away. Or if they. They may have already passed away. And I think, I think somebody's really scared to be on their own, to be by themselves. Got the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So this is some kind of inheritance. But somebody is so grief stricken right now that they, they're not even worried about it getting a message about the two of pentacles I'm just gonna be for real for real with you if, if somebody's saying that you have to pay something in order to get something don't believe them there's the chariot again that's not that's not the way it works Ten of Wands, Two of Cups, two of, two of Cups, Two of Swords, Three of Pentacles. I'm feeling like, what do I do now? Like, the Two of Swords, somebody wants to work something out with you here regarding this. But as I said before, if, if somebody's trying to make you pay for something in order to get something, that isn't how it works. Um, so this Two of Cups to the Two of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. 
Somebody wants you to work something out with them. The challenge here is to take on some kind of responsibility that's going to be burdensome. Knight of Wands. Ten of Cups and the Hermit. You are somebody's wish fulfillment, Scorpio, but I don't think that you feel the same way. I think you, you feel like this is going to be more trouble than it's worth. But, if, you know, it could be, it could be very promising with the Two of Cups, but the Knight of Wands is with it. Strength in reverse. Yes, somebody is definitely losing their strength. And you're watching it happen. I mean, I do feel like you are watching it happen. The Tower and the Page of Swords. Leo Scorpio. This is a good time, not a long time. And it could be something that's way too much, like I said, more trouble than it's going to be worth. Maybe that's why the Nine of Pentacles is here. Or perhaps this is the other person and somebody they love just passed away. And, and if and if they give them time to heal, don't don't expect miracles out of this person if if they did. Yeah, there's a brand new beginning for the Nine of Pentacles here. The Hierophant and Temperance. So. This is going to give you some kind of new start, even if it's not, even if it's a little heavy. It's going to give you some kind of brand new start. The Fool Energy. Some kind of spiritual balance going to allow you to be on your own and be in fairly good shape. Nine of Pentacles, the Fool, the Three of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and Death. Somebody got left out of a wheel. Aries Energy. Something here was blocked by spirit, Scorpio. And whoever this person is that I'm talking about, they're really upset. They're upset that this is over. That there's no going back. The only, was it, what was it somebody said to me the other day, says there's only one way to go when you're all the way down, and that's up. It's what I feel like there. Seven of Wands to the Hierophant. So, this is a spiritual journey where somebody's in the dark night of the soul, and they're starting with nothing. But they're going to be good on their own. They're going to be fine on their own. Don't let somebody take advantage of you here. I feel like that's what's happening. I feel like somebody's trying to take advantage of your kindness. Balancing out a tower. Trying to take matters into your hands. Somebody's trying to hurry something up, but they're in the Eight of Swords. They can't, they can't really move because they're all in their head. Sagittarius energy on Scorpio. 
They can't really move, but it's an illusion. Eight of Eight of Pentacles too. Eight of Pentacles and Knight of Wands or Knight of Swords. And the High Priestess. Somebody knows they have to fix something with you in order to move forward. They can't they can't move forward and balance anything out until they fix something. Which is that three of swords and five of pentacles. And there's the page of wands. Some kind of message being sent. You've already moved on from this. I, I feel like you really have. But this person's coming towards you. Like I said, I feel like they've lost somebody. They've lost somebody and now they find they find you very attractive and they want to come forward. But they got ten wands on their back. So they got baggage. They're all alone. And they're stuck. They know they have to make something right here. Five of Wands in reverse. They're not competing with you anymore. They might have been competing with you before for an offer of some kind. But now they're just... I feel like they're mourning. They've got a lot of baggage, Scorpio. Don't let them tell you they don't. Because they're going to... I feel like they're going to make it seem like it's all light and fluffy. When in real life, it's three of swords, five of pentacles. They have no way to recover from this. So that's why they're coming towards you. They could be spiritual, using spiritual practices to try to manipulate you in some way. Like, say for instance, the twin flame dynamic, you know? Like telling you that they're your twin flame and that everything's going to work out and... Yeah, but they're hiding some stuff and they're they're hiding the fact that they're overly burdened. And we have the tower again. So the outside influence and the factors affecting the situation are the tower. Somebody's stuck. Ooh. So, if this is about magic, because I, like I said, I am feeling a lot of ethereal energy here. This person may have done something to try to get you stuck, and it went straight back. It bounced off of you and stuck to them like glue. And now they're freaking out. Now they're upset. Now you're upset? You should have thought about that. Because I feel like you're going to get a brand new beginning here. Despite a painful ending. And whoever this person is, the weeble wobble but, but they don't fall down type energy. Um, they're going to be stuck in their own manifestation. Which is a tower that's bringing balance to the whole situation and like I said whatever end you're on here it could, it could be you Scorpio or it could be the other person there is going to be some kind of brand new beginning there's going to be some kind of a, a new start in somebody's work Virgo, Gemini, Taurus energy along with three Scorpios so we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Eight of Pentacles. This is this is a practitioner. This is somebody who does this for a living. I don't see the Seven of Swords here. But they may have been lied to about you. And they did some work on you. And now they're facing that ending themselves. Because they're being exposed. Whatever deeds were done in the dark here. Are being brought out into the open. And this person is hoping. That nobody finds out. But it's so blatant. What they did to a nine of pentacles here. 
that there's no choice but it to, for it to come out. It has to come out. Yeah, five of wands in reverse. This person was hell-bent on... I feel like making you pay for something you didn't even do. Or maybe you didn't even know about. Ace of Cups. This person could have been in love with you. And now it's like it's like that dragon energy where where the hand is forcing somebody back against the wall. This person's forced against the wall. They can't move. But you're getting some kind of movement here at the end. I don't feel like this person can move against you anymore. They can't they can't they can't mess with your energy anymore. God stepped in. That's what they're upset about because if this is if this was rituals and and like death magic This person knows what they're facing You're gonna have a choice Maybe even a choice to travel the world Seven of Pentacles It's growth Six of Wands Page of Swords and Justice in Reverse. So whatever this person did, it was to try to stop this. They wanted you so overburdened and stressed out that you wouldn't see some kind of a um, reclamation of your power. Even if you had to stand alone. This person's upset because they didn't get what they were trying to get. That belonged to you. It belonged to you. And they used every trick in the book. To try to get it from you. And now they have to watch. This is a, a stalkery kind of energy. But it's an injustice. Two of Wands, Six of Wands. I feel like you're going to have a choice on what to do here. And it's going to be an important choice. Somebody got investigated. I feel like they definitely, definitely got investigated. And something got found out. Like I said, I'm feeling more ethereal than in 3D. And they got, they got caught. They got caught. Whatever kind of magic or, or, or manipulation they were trying to do here, it wasn't strong enough. It wasn't strong enough to penetrate an empress. We did have the emperor here too. That's what they were trying to keep from happening. Is from two people coming together that were supposed to come together and maybe they succeeded for a while but I don't think that it I don't think it's stuck I don't think it's stuck what is this two of wands and six of wands about as the final outcome the queen of pentacles the king of cups and the strength So somebody wanted to take your spot in a relationship. Hermit. So Virgo and Leo energy here. With the King of Cups. We got the King of Cups when we started out. What is this? Death, Three of Swords, and Five of Pentacles about. This is putting something, some kind of pain. Pain and lack to rest. No longer letting it affect you. Wow. The star.
So this could be somebody coming towards you that you're not sure. You're not sure if you even want this person. It's four of cups and the high priestess. So Pisces and Aquarius energy. This is something that you may have wanted at one time. Maybe it's worth a lot of money. But now you're not quite so sure. This person tried to cause a lot of endings for you, Scorpio. Now you're just not sure if you want to engage anymore. This person knows that they're facing some kind of painful permanent ending for what they did here. The injustice that was served without knowing all the facts. Somebody, it's, it's like somebody did something here to you because of somebody else who had them bewitched when you were the only viable choice to start with but this other person had this person so so manipulated so spiritually manipulated that they thought you were the enemy and you're not So they tried to overpower you. But you're an empress. And they weren't able to do that. All they did was cause you to find your power. To find your star power, star seed, star energy. And that's why they're facing this permanent ending. Twin flame or not. You know, they weren't, the, you know for a fact that they really didn't want this, that they were with somebody else and that you didn't want to engage in that. It wasn't what you wanted. If somebody's going to come at you for a relationship, you want a long time, not a good time. And this person came to you in the wrong way curse lifted losing influence sickness lifted freedom from t toxicity trying to trap you so you can't see your own divinity social pressure trying to stop a union so this could be the third party that's upset because they couldn't stop something here from happening it couldn't stop you from coming into union with someone you were meant to come into union with. They tried. Man, did they try. Maybe they were the ones that got the, the good time and not the long time. This Queen of Wands in reverse. I think that's what they tried to make you look like. And tower kept dropping on them over and over and over again until they had to give up they didn't have any choice you win by default okay so we have a mature man here we have a privileged lady 1221 wow. and a thief somebody in your family stealing a house trying to leave you in despair but I don't think that's what's going to happen here I think what's going to happen here is that they will be the ones in despair because whatever they tried to steal here it didn't work out in their favor it's still yours like I said this could be somebody in your family or family secrets about a thief trying to steal what was yours and they couldn't it could be your creativity because knight of wands represents action and creativity as well maybe somebody tried to steal your creation here and they got they got knocked down and I do mean knocked down they're facing some pretty painful uh, repercussions for this. 
It could be another Scorpio. The Runner. Seduction. And you said no. Bottom line. Somebody was reminiscing about you, keepsake, loving on, you know. And this is the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship, listening to the ego. Third party interference with the seduction in reverse. Or they said no to a, the third party. So like I said, this could be the third party they said no to for a one night stand. Whoever this person is, whether that be you or them, they are making healthier choices in love and life, caring for themselves as they should, and not falling for the one night stand. Congratulations, whoever you are. You are making the right choices for you, and that is taking your pain and turning it into a promise into a miracle into a wish fulfillment because you didn't fall for the dumb shit here you didn't fall for the i love you i love you i want to be with you um but i'm not going to prove it to you i'm just going to use you yeah emotional loss and a new beginning this is losing something, but gaining something better. So it is, and there's the Nine of Pentacles, material harvest. It's going to allow you to rest and rejuvenate. And your destiny has been accelerated. Because of, because of all the screwing around here somebody did to try to stop you, all of that's about to change. You may be experiencing, like I said, some kind of loss right now. But know that it's an accelerated destiny at this point. It's going to allow you to rest. It's going to allow you to heal. So, it's a new beginning despite, you know, I'm not saying that it's all roses and, you know, But it, it's something that's going to allow you to go forth to your destiny. Keeping a promise. Maybe you made a promise to this person. You don't want to hear it. Anything that has to do with the boom boom in the room room you are protecting yourself this other person could be going through a divorce if it's not you and there's some kind of show being put on like I said a situation's about to explode so this other person could be going through an, a, a divorce and they're trying to get you to I don't know house them or or help them or in some way um, let them fall down Scorpio don't don't try to save this person because then you'll take on their karma somebody's gonna make it seem like it they're keeping a promise to you but it's it's really so they can get out of their own karma and that never works out very well for anybody so just so you know this person is very, it's very much about the boom boom in the room room. Even though they're making it look like it's the two of cups. Like they're keeping some kind of promise to you. If you let this person in, you may regret it. Manifesting magic for the collective. All 
All right, so expression. This says, find your voice. Bottled up emotions. And communication. So, don't hold back here. Tell this person exactly how they made you feel. And let those emotions out. Because keeping them inside is going to cause pain. Pain in the body, more so than uh, emotional pain. If you don't let these emotions express these emotions, even if even if somebody doesn't want to hear it, even if they don't want to hear it and all they want to do is seduce you in some sort of way, let them know anyway because I do, I do feel like that's part of what this is, is that somebody wants to come in and basically have you rescue them from their karma and you need to go, uh, 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 I need to let you know how you made me feel. And you let them know how they made you feel, and then you take it from there. Don't allow this person just to jump in the... Jump in because the water is fine, because there's a ten of wands there. A three of swords. And, uh, the five of pentacles. This person ain't got no money. Like I said, they're trying to avoid a divorce, or they're putting on some kind of show here. It's fake. They're good. I have to give them credit. Because I, cause I, I questioned this reading in the beginning of it. They're real good at making it look like a two of cups. Let me tell you. Very charming. So this is the sunshine. It says light, passion, illumination, motivation. And don't dim your light. So don't let this person dim your light. Don't let this person trick you into believing that something's different than it really is. And I feel like your compassion is kind of... It's a little bit of a downfall because you are overly compassionate sometimes, Scorpio. And you try to put yourself in somebody else's situation. And not saying don't do that. But at the same token, be very wise about the choices that you make here because some somebody's trying to trick you into believing something is different than it is they're going through a divorce they don't have any money there's a lot more underneath this surface than seems it's a nine of swords and a ten of wands they may even be telling you that they're grieving over somebody and they're entitled to an inheritance or a lot of money and you're sitting in the Nine of Pentacles, and they're lying. So, I don't know. But I, I don't feel like this is somebody who's on the up and up. Like I said, I feel like oh, I'm keeping my promise to you as a twin flame. And, and, I, and I'm coming back so we can be together and create some kind of world. Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. That's the hope, but it's the Queen of Wands in reverse, male or female. It's somebody who uses their charm and their looks and stuff and possibly some kind of underhanded spiritual practice to manipulate other people into believing what they want them to believe. And they use your compassion as a means of like a weapon. Okay, so this, this is having compassion for yourself as well as others. Softening your heart. Be gentle. And see the good. So definitely see the good in whatever this, this is as far as, you know, how it makes you feel. But don't let them pull the wool over your eyes. They're going through some toxic, I don't mean toxic, I can't say toxic, some pretty brutal stuff here, but it could be karma for what they've done to you in the past. 
they weren't strong enough to, to, to take you out. They weren't strong enough to take you down. And like I said, that Three of Swords, Five of Pentacles, on the Nine of Pentacles tells me you will lose money. You will lose something. Even if you take this person up on whatever they're, they're bringing in because it's a tower. They're going through the tower. And you don't have to go through the tower as long as you're willing to be compassionate to yourself most of all. Because this is some kind of miracle. But I don't feel like this person has stepped up to the pump. I feel like you're you're the only one who's who's grown, who's gotten their footing through this dark night of the soul. This other person is still dealing with the dark night of the soul. They they, they could even be dealing with another contract or or marriage still. And they're they're not stable. They want your stability. They want you to make them stable. And sometimes, compassion for yourself is more important. You can have compassion for them without enabling them. Because that's, that's basically what I'm seeing here. Is somebody trying to get you to enable them for their bad behavior. And say yeah uh no um i'm sorry but i i feel for you but i can't i can't do that i have to worry about me first and that's not selfish that's self-care not allowing somebody to drain you of your resources so they can feel better so we got the spiral dancer for your um Advice. Let's see what it says. Caught. It says, Circuitous Root and Perception. This says, The spiral dancer moves with her own rhythm and steps to music only she can hear. She sets you on, on a path that is winding and circular. She assures you that what you're experiencing as a setback is really part of an upward spiral. Perception is everything. You're not retracing your steps or going backward, but rather around and up. She says that you can be comforted knowing that your path is one of success, adventure, and experience. Follow her, for she dances along a magical way. If you're asking about a relationship, keep on dancing and magic will soon happen. Also, it's okay to allow someone else to take the lead at this time. Make sure to let others know that you're open. Always remember that relationships are mirrors and will show you the past, the present, and potential future. All relationships have a destiny. Earth is a, Earth is a sacred teacher and have valuable lessons to sh with valuable lessons to share, even if it appears that the two of you are dancing in different directions. All the steps are perfect even when you may seem to be stumbling. The spiral Dancer is a reminder that Destiny's path, true path, is seldom straight. So like I said, if you love this person, I mean, be compassionate. But don't let them just come in and take advantage of you. Don't enable their bad behavior. Alright? If they've screwed you over before, they'll do it again. Especially if you, if you cave to their every whim. So maybe you need to dance in a different direction for right now and let them go through their dark night of the soul. It don't mean that you don't have compassion for them. It just means that you're not going to let them move in and, and, and suck off of you and, and use you until they're healed and then they leave again. I'm just, I'm just going to be 100 with you. All right? Well, those are your messages, my baby dragons. Please remember to press the like button, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.